pressure to a third of what it was. So what we've got here is we've got some water and this is definitely, most definitely not boiling. One of the things that students often forget is that boiling does not occur at a fixed temperature. Boiling we can think of as being large scale evaporation and the boiling point of a liquid will depend upon the external pressure because of course the gas molecules above here are acting as a lid to prevent too much evaporation. It's only at sea level pressure, it's only when I raise the, the temperature of this to 100 degrees centigrade that I have the mass boiling all at once. But evaporation will occur at all temperatures, which is just as well, because otherwise rain puddles would never evaporate away. So what we're going to do now is we take our syringe and we're going to put some hot but not boiling water into our syringe. We put the plunger in, we extract the plunger to maybe two or three millilitres, and then take the plunger out and put your finger on top. It's important that we have a small bubble of air there. So we can see there, I don't know if the camera is zooming in okay. We can see there is a fixed, very small amount of air in there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to pull the plunger down. Of course, that will reduce the pressure and the air, uh, the air that's trapped in there will increase in volume, reduce in pressure. Remember, that air is above the water. We are not heating this syringe at all and yet look at what happens. We can see very clearly there, even though I'm not supplying any heat energy, we are starting to see boiling of the water. Now some of what you're seeing there is gases that were in solution coming out of solution. The important thing is to make sure you keep your finger on the top. So if we do it one more time, pulling it out, trapping the air inside, and pulling it downwards and we've got it furiously boiling away there. As soon as I let the air back in, the boiling stops. The boiling point of water itself depends upon the external pressure. And you go to an altitude of 63,000 feet above the Earth's surface, which was just a little bit higher than Concorde used to fly, the boiling point of water is 37 degrees centigrade. So what they never told Concorde passengers was that if the plane lost air pressure, the oxygen mass coming down would be useless. To survive at those altitudes, you need a full pressure suit. Your blood would not boil inside your veins because your veins are themselves a pressure vessel. But when there have been accidents in pressure chambers, there was one in 1966 where an American NASA engineer had an explosive uh, or decompression from his pressure suit. He says the last thing he remembers was the saliva boiling off his tongue because of the massively reduced air pressure. Uh, but he survived and he was actually back at work the next day because they flooded the chamber with oxygen.